everyone. I'm excited to draw with you today. We're going to be drawing a sea turtle. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Friday. It's almost the weekend. That way you guys get to have some fun this weekend. Hopefully it's a nice day. I'm going to give it a minute. I want everyone to jump in. We're going to be making a sea turtle today. It's going to be a little different. I'm going to show you guys how I love to draw. So this is, um, it's going to be very design based. Good morning. Good morning, Leah. Hi, Jillian and Mimi. Good morning. I'm so excited to draw with you guys again today. We're going to give it another minute. I want everyone to be able to jump in. Grab your pencil. Hi, Ramona. Grab your paper, a marker. Hi, Marley. Welcome. I'm excited to draw with you. Hi, Sasha. It's so nice to see all these friendly names. I wish I could say friendly faces. Hi, Grace. All right, everybody. So we have our pencil, paper, eraser, Sharpie if you want to outline, and whatever you want to color with. So we are going to start with a, we're going to make, so I'm making a sea turtle for any friends who came in a little bit later. I'm going to start with this shape. So it's kind of like a circle or more actually probably like a water drop shape. And I'll go over it and darken it up after for you guys so you can see. You want to make sure when you're making this shape that you're leaving enough room around it because this is going to be the shape of our shell. But I want to leave enough room for a head and fins. I love sea turtles and I know that we have a shortage of sea turtles. They are, um, I don't think, I don't know if they're endangered, endangered, they probably are. But I know that they are definitely, the numbers are a lot lower than they used to be. And, but since quarantine started and since people are back in their houses and we're not on the beaches as much, uh, sea turtle population has definitely increased by a lot, which is so fantastic. So hopefully, all those baby sea turtles that were late or that mama laid their eggs this year, they get older and they survive. So look guys, it's this shape. It's kind of like a water droplet with a rounded bottom. Oh good. I'm happy turtles are your favorite. So we're just doing this shape for now, guys. Remember, we're leaving room up here for a head. We need fins and, and fins on the bottom. It's okay if some of your um, stuff goes off the edges this week. Don't worry about that. I kind of like that. So then I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to do a little line. We're going to go one, two. And I'm, then I'm going to do the shape of my turtle's head. So the shape of the head is actually quite similar to the shape of the body. It's just facing the other direction, and it's smaller. So when I'm drawing, like if I'm just doodling or drawing in my notebook, I find that I draw really, um, like a lot of design. There's a lot of like, I like to use swirls and patterns and stuff like that. So I'm going to bring some of that into this drawing for you guys. I want to show you. All right. And then we're going to go over here on the side. We're going to go up, over, and down. So this is our side fin. I was watching a video yesterday on uh, Facebook, and it was this huge leatherback. It was a leatherback turtle, and it was laying its eggs on the beach, and they used those fins to really dig a hole, and it was just so beautiful to watch. 
there was these people at the beach and there was um there was actually police officers and or they might have been like um like state trooper or state workers that were there to protect the turtle while it laid its eggs so that nobody that was at the beach could go near it but they could watch and i was thinking how fun it would be to be at the beach and then have a turtle come up and lay its eggs there So we've got two fins. Now you guys will notice, look, this fin is close to the edge. If it went off the edge on your paper, that's, fin that's fine. Sorry, yes, I will slow down a little bit, guys. Don't worry. And don't worry, if you ever miss a, a step, you could always rewatch as well. It's on the page all day, but I will slow down. I know I'm, I'm off on my timing. <laughs> So all we did so far, guys, we did a shell shape, which is kind of like a water droplet. We did two little lines for a neck here. The shape of a head. And that shape, I said, was kind of like the shell shape, just the opposite. Ooh, your mom went to a turtle farm. That sounds so fun. And then we've got two fins on either side. So these fins are, they're similar. They go up and then down and up. I hope you guys are having a good Friday. My, um, my in-laws came over and they got a new puppy this morning and really two puppies because then um my um my sister-in-law also got a puppy so i got to meet two puppies this morning what a great way to start a friday their names are bailey and leo all right so hopefully you guys were able to catch up a little bit so then we're going to go out down here, and I'm going to do two fins. These ones are a little different, so start with a line out like that. And then you're going to just curve it and go back in like that. So you guys see how I did that? I'm going to do the same thing over here. You guys take your time with it. It kind of comes to a point. It comes to a slight point. And then, just like that, guys, we have the shape of a turtle. If your turtle is a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, don't worry. Every turtle is going to be a little different, and that's what I love. So now I'm going to go in the inside of my turtle. In this part, guys, I'm going to do pretty light because it's not going to stay like this. We're going to erase a little bit of this. So you're just going to do the shape on the inside of your turtle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. We just want to see. We want to have a line there that we could use as a guideline. Let me give you another minute. Don't want to rush you. So turtles have all these different designs on their shells. Um, they're really beautiful, but most of them have 
around the outside of the shell, the same kind of, it's kind of like a, a pattern. It's almost like, like stone. So what we're going to do is we're going to start making this. So really it is, if you're thinking, it's almost like if you were to put lines like this all the way around, you see that? But instead of just putting straight lines, I like it to curve a little bit to make it feel like they come to, they kind of meld together. So a good way to do that is to put these lines in really lightly. If you want to put them in nice and light, you can. All the way around your shell. And I hope you guys could see them okay, but we do want them light because we're going to go back in once we've got them and kind of curve round out your edges a little bit. So they still go together. It's almost like if you had a walkway in your backyard or your front yard and they, they're putting brick in, but some of the edges are rounded, you're going to still mold them together. It's just they're not perfectly square squares, which is fine. So guys, after next week, next week we're going to do our classes as normal. After next week, we are trying to figure out a way that we could do classes and do um, camp because all of our teachers are going to be teaching camp as well. Uh, we're going to still do our virtual classes as normal, the classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays that everybody's taking. Um, it's just our free live lessons that we're trying to figure out. So we're going to take a little bit of a break after next week. And then the um, and then we are, but we're still going to do it because we know a lot of people. We're still going to try and, and do our classes. We know a lot of people um, tune in that aren't local and can't come to the studio. Um, and we know a lot of you have grandparents at home or people who are immune compromised, so you can't come out, which is perfectly fine. Um, but we are going to take a little break to try and figure out the best way to go about it. This does that, like I said, that does not um, include our classes that are virtual. Those are still going to go just as usual, the ones that um, our friends are paying for, the packages on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But it's just our live ones. Good morning, Svetlana. So, guys, you're going to go all around the side. You see how I did that? It just gives it that nice look of being a tortoise shell. And I know that takes time, so take your time, my friends. Don't you worry. And I always want to remind you guys that there's no mistakes in art. Remember, everyone's is going to look different. There's no wrong way to do it. And as long as you're creating something and at the end of the day that you're proud of it, that's what we want to hear and that's what we love. You fill in those sketchbooks or those papers with stuff that you created yourself and that you can be proud of. Okay, so my turtle is going to be in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge of my turtle. So this is really a design factor, guys, this part. Because it doesn't, my turtle's in water, but the whole paper doesn't have to be water to show that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around my turtle. And I'm going to do little lines like this. Yeah. 
they're kind of like wavy lines. The trick is that they all move in a wavy, wrapping around my turtle motion. And it's going to look like moving water in the end. Let's see, over here we'll do. You have to think about how water how water moves and what it's going to look like as like a wave crashes. That's all stuff to take into consideration when you're drawing something. We got to do some up here. And we don't have to do a ton. When you outline, we can add in stuff as well. This might look a little silly until we outline, guys, and that's perfectly fine. And also, another thing that's going to make this look like water is um, the color. It's going to be blue. Okay. So you guys could always add more to those later because that background is going to stay basically like that, but we could add more later. I want to show you some of the inside stuff. So now in my turtle's legs, I'm going to do, on either side, I'm going to do one, it's kind of like a long skinny line that goes along the leg or along the fin, two, I could actually do that, I want you guys to be able to see it good, so here, here's your fin. up here here's your fin I'm going to do it in sharpie so you guys could really see it I'm going to do a long skinny line Same thing over here. All right. So kind of like we did with our giraffe drawing. I know a bunch of you were here. You've been doing them daily with us. So if you did a giraffe drawing, turtles do have like a texture or a pattern on their fins. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and just, and it's not really like a giraffe in the sense that everything is covered. But it is in the sense that there's some areas, doesn't have to be all of them, that have just kind of little 
they're almost like circles. Some of them could be a little squarish. And it's just a texture. On the tail. On both my fins. They don't have to match the two sides, but you do kind of want to put them in the same areas. So I've got some here, some here. I'm going to put some down here. Now we're getting kind of to that, what I was hinting at before, that nice, like, design aspect. We're getting some patterns that are showing, which is nice. Okay. So then. I'm going to go back to my pencil for this part, guys. Take your time. I'm going to go into the head. And we're going to make the shape of, so it's kind of like we're going along the inside of the head. I'm actually just going to do a U, look, like a U along the inside of the head. I'll outline it with my Sharpie so you can see. And on either side, I'm going to do little curves for eyes. I'm going to fill in my eyes. And I'm even, but I'm going to leave a little bit of white showing. And I'm even going to kind of do a bump out. You see how I went out a little bit on either side? If you guys wanted more cartoony eyes, you definitely could do that here. And while I have them um, up here, I'm going to do two little curves for nostrils. So now in this head part, just like in the body, there's all this design. And remember,
remember what I said about like the giraffe earlier. The design does kind of fit together. Just like our giraffes did. So mine's going to go up all the way to the top. this one a little bit bigger so you guys could go in and play with it make your design however you want up there I know that while I think I've told you guys this before, but while Australia is not, um, oh, I think I told you when we did the koala. While Australia is uh, closed and while they're not doing tourist scuba diving trips on the Great Barrier Reef, they're planting coral, which is awesome. It's a nice way to give back to the environment while we're stuck in quarantine. Oh, Marley, I'm happy you like it so far. It's a fun one. It's a really cool one. You can do a lot with this. So while you guys work on that, I'm going to outline my shell. You guys don't have to outline yet. You guys could still be using pencil. Miss Allie just wants to give you guys a minute to catch up, and this is a good way for me to make it so that you guys could see better. The nice thing is that when you guys outline later, if you, all these pencil lines that I'm leaving behind, I could always erase those after. So if you made any mistakes or you want to change anything, it's a good time to do that. Now, the fun part, everybody. Not that this wasn't all fun, but I was thinking, so there's a few ways we could do this. The inside of this shell, we could put so many designs if we wanted to. It could be beautiful rainbow textures. It could be patterns. But I was thinking something fun and something that I'm going to do on mine is I'm going to make this the ocean. I know it's going to be kind of crazy thinking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a line across like this. It doesn't have to be straight, really. You see how I do? So, and then I'm going to make this the bottom of my ocean. I'm going to make some seaweed growing up. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to do... wiggly line. I know some of my friends who did the class with Miss Hannah, I believe you've done an ocean scene. But I was trying to think of something when I was trying to think of what we wanted to do for class. I wanted to do something that most haven't done yet. And we haven't really done many water animals. We've done mostly um, land animals. I'm going to do a few sea leaves here. And a cool thing you guys could do, I'm trying to think how I could do it because I did Sharpie, but it's okay, is some of this could be breaking the plane, so, which I really like. So if this, is the, if this is inside, which let me do some like circles or fun things. Let's do some co coral growing out. So what I did is I'll do two like this. I'll do two lines like this. One, two, and then I'll do a circle, 
you know, you know those fun, it's going to be like those fun corals that have the circles on top. Room. And I know in The Little Mermaid, um, Sebastian uses them as like a, a horn or a musical instrument at some point, which is really funny. Let's see, I'll throw another one down here. So this is a fun way of breaking the plane and making your the eye of whoever's looking at your picture wonder. So I'll pull it up. See how I did a bunch going in all different directions? Sand. We've got some seaweed. Let's do some rocks. Let me erase this line, this pencil lines over here. So over here for my right, I'm going to do curving. And out. These could be, we could do all different shapes and or all different sizes of rocks. They could go behind the seaweed. And you guys could really make this your own. You could do anything you want. Any sort of animals in there. I'm going to do some fun coral growing out over here. I'm going to start with pencil, actually. So, here, let's make it out of the shell. I like some of them coming out here. You know how coral has that look of being, like, all wiggly? I'll outline it for you. You guys could do some fish. Could be like a little anemone. An anemone. Like from Finding Nemo. And the cool thing about underwater and all the different like stuff under there is that it is so colorful in these anemones and in these reefs so you really guys when you're coloring this in you could have so much fun with the colors they are neon and they are bright make a little dots on some of these rocks just to give it some character I think we need an animal on mine for sure. I'm gonna do a jellyfish. And just to be make it nice and to make it cool and to go with the fact that everything's kind of a little wonky in this picture, and I'm gonna make him upside down. So for my jellyfish, I'm gonna start with him. 
an upside down U. And what you really could do is, if you don't want to draw it upside down, watch. I'm going to turn my picture to make it easier. And I'm going to do, let's start with my top picture, a wavy line across. And my jellyfish I'm going to draw has this thicker part. It's like a thicker section on the inside, and it's real wavy on one side. And they sometimes have like two of these. And then around it, they have these long, skinny tentacles. different directions. Mine are going to break the plane so it's going to go off on the, towards the head of my turtle, which is perfectly fine. It gives it a cool look. They fit crisscross. So there isn't going to be a contest tonight, guys. Not this week. This week we are just drawing for some fun with you. All right, and then if you want, on the top of your jellyfish, you could do like polka dots, stripes, anything you want to give it a fun texture. It's kind of cool, right, guys? Look, there's a jellyfish coming up along the side of him. You could do, I'm gonna do a little crabby down, a little crab in here. I like to start my crabs with a little shape of an eye or like a, a football. And then I go up on either side. Little bump. Bump. And I'm going to go down with little, do just little lines like this. The little leggies. And on top of those bumps, I do a little claw. I'll show you guys them a little closer. It's just a little crabby. There's so much possibility of what you guys can put in this. I love to see, I want I can't wait to see your imagination, bring it to life, however you guys want. You can add more seaweed, different types of seaweed. Think of what else we can add. I don't have any fishies yet, so I might add a little fish up here. Let's see. I'm going to actually do a fish out here so it's like he's clawing, clawing out of it. So my fish is going to start. It's right here. It's going to start with that shape. It's a fishy. It's a little hard to see. I know. Let me try another one a little bit bigger. I'm going to do it with my pencil first so you guys can see a little better. So I like to start with this shape. It's kind of like a sideways Y or a V. And then you could come down across. Out. Back in. In. And you guys could do it however you want, color-wise. 
and Y. All right, guys. And then the only thing I, I haven't really outlined is my background. So I'm going to start doing some of this the days on the side. So like I said, guys, when you're coloring this in, you could use so many bright colors and patterns. I'll still post mine when it's finished just so you guys could see it, but we, I don't, we're not going to do a contest tonight, so there will be no winner drawn. Um, I just love to see your guys' artwork. So if you want to send them or tag us on Instagram or Facebook, um, this is a perfect picture to celebrate the earth and everything that beautiful that it has given us, all these beautiful animals. I'm going to put just little lines throughout it just to give it some texture. So really make these your own. Do some bubbles. All right, guys, so you fill up yours however you want, and then I'll give it a nice color in. I'm going to watercolor mine, and I'll post it for you guys so you can see. I like to post it on Instagram. I'll also post it on Facebook. Um, on the Bethel and the Sheltons. And thanks so much for drawing with me, guys, today. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. And next week, we will be here. We will create with you. I, we cannot wait. The week after, we have to, um, we're going to take a pause for a little bit just to figure out what our, our schedule moving forward uh, with summer camp opening. Hopefully, we'll see some of you guys in person soon. We can't wait. Um, and thank you so much. Have a good day.